So hey, in this video, we'll be looking into function pairing as such. Uh, so we'll be taking the help of closures uh, and we will look into how actually uh, function carrying, uh, I mean, cutting actually helps us to, uh, to make our code uh, kind of, uh, yeah, I mean, kind of less lines of code. It's basically the less lines of code and it's actually makes our fun function vocation a little bit easy. So for that, uh, we'll be taking some function. I'll be just simply taking a function. We will look, uh, we will take, uh, I mean, understand, try to understand the cutting with the help of closures as such. Uh, I have made a video on the closures as well. So you can actually see that and know about what the closures is. Uh, so I'll be writing a function. So const uh, maybe first, let me just put this auto save off so that yeah, so first uh, go to this one, it will take some value, maybe X, and then it will take, it will just return on another function. Const uh, second, then, okay, okay, yeah, it will return just a second. Yeah, so it will return, and now second will take some argument, maybe Y. And what, what what it will do is maybe return, it will just return me um, X into Y. That's it. That's the, yeah. So if you know closures or you are a little bit familiar with closures, then you will, you will think that, okay. I mean, you will obviously know that, okay. The X now in the line number 3, 398, 398, this value of X will be in the, in my closure scope, isn't it? I mean, the value of X will be stored in the clo closure scope and, after this uh, second, I mean, this second will actually go to first function and it will just uh, uh, access that value of X. So let me just uh, invoke it. Uh, so what I will do, let me let, let val equal to maybe first, and I'll just invoke it uh, 10, then maybe four. And then if I do a control X, uh, this one, uh, if I save this, I will get the value, right? So essentially this is what actually currying means. So usually what it happens is that if you invoke this first, it will give, it will return you a function, right? So maybe you want a, you are maybe taking a callback or maybe you are doing an, a nested function. I mean, you are basically invoking, maybe there are 10 to 15 and function sites. So usually what you will do is actually, is actually first pass the value from first. I mean, pass the value, it will return you a function. Now you will actually give value. You will actually invoke this value and give it an argument, maybe 10 or four, and then you will get the value again. And then you will, again invoke that and again get the return the value then again invoke that right so rather than that what you can do is maybe if there are maybe 20 functions so you will just write this kind of thing so the, the, this is a, just a basic esx i mean feature and also known as function currying as such so yeah this was all that you have to know about function currying there is also one other way also you can see uh, you can actually demonstrate the function currying i think it was uh, getters uh, most probably it was uh, yeah i think it was i think class uh, classes with the help of classes as well so you can look into it so yeah this was uh, all about the currying as such so yeah So there is an, another example uh, that usually you might see in the future, uh, I mean, in some code base or some, something. So there might be some maybe per const of maybe some equal to, uh, it will take a call, uh, it will take a param, uh, argument and then this will just return uh, maybe function. There's also a function. Uh, so this is also a function and then what it will do is it will just return me a plus b a plus b plus c okay so what you can do is const uh, second value second value equal to sum and then i will give one two just one one and then one 
right? Uh, and if you control this, and if you save this, so you'll actually get the value of three, right? So you might see some, I mean, this kind of code, just a one line of code. So it is just, it is just like this only. It's just, uh, just you are just uh, want to return something. And if you don't apply the object brackets, then you are actually directly returning a function itself. So you, you don't have to write. So for example, if I have to write this, this again in the form of this, then I have to just go go to the A and then again give me a object record and then return me a B as such. So this one, and then again, I have to do like B and then I have to do like this one, return, return C and then, yeah, oh, wait, okay, let me, let me just, give it like this return c and then again this will what it will do is okay not this one yeah so what this will do is this will just return me a b c and okay am i not oh uh, this one okay i have to everything close yeah to close this so what it is doing is it is just returning me this is on now return me returning me a function again and now if i just control save this i'll just get the same value right so this is just like this only but you might see some ugly es6 thing which which might seems like uh, might seem like it is a kind of a rocket science but no it's not it's just a, a I mean, finishing way of like f finishing the code in the single line only. So yeah, thanks.